Hi, this is Mark, one of the partners of Safe Day Trading. As the economy continues to go into turmoil, I'm sure you are thinking of ways you can protect your income. You may be thinking of ways to develop new streams of income. You are not alone. Everyone is feeling under the pressure to store up wealth and to protect what they've acquired. We pride ourselves in showing normal, everyday people how they can make money safely and consistently with day trading. We want our students to systematically learn how to relieve financial stress by trading one hour a day. You pick the hour. Students can even follow us each morning and take the same trades we do and make three to $800 an hour. Safe Day Trading provides you with the education to learn about day trading and we provide proprietary program to help determine what makes a great trade. It is a simple step-by-step -step process. For an initial cost of $397 and $79 monthly after that, you can learn the secrets of day trading effectively. Why not supplement your income with no bosses, no set hours, no employees, no paperwork, and no hassle? Go to safedaypodcast.com and find out more. All presenters and guests of Safe Day Trading Podcast opinions are their own and do not constitute financial advice in any way whatsoever. Nothing produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast constitutes a investment recommendation, nor should any data or content produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast be relied upon for investment activity. Safe Day Trading Podcast recommends that you perform your own independent research before making any financial decisions. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. It is June 20th, 2023. Coming up this week, the longest day of the year. It's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, interesting uh, issue today with the Biden regime. Uh, I don't know if you caught it or not, but uh, not surprising. And, uh, you know, that's the way it is. Let's take a look at what's going on. Um, Oil today has been playing a lot with that $72 range. Uh, you know, I told you that that's a psychological barrier. Um, we started at the beginning of the morning with it above 72. Right now it's uh, around 71. And, uh, you know, it's kind of moving up and down, but really hasn't, uh, really hasn't moved away from the 72 going up at all. It has broken. Um, the 72 on the way down, but uh, you know, that's it. Just seems that there needs to be some kind of movement there, uh, especially with uh, OPEC continuing to cut prices. Uh, gold is settled down at uh, 1950, uh, natural gas is at two dollars and fifty cents. That's another low, another psychological barrier there. Um, and the Dow is at 34,300. Uh, really moves up and down, but you know, really not a lot of changes. Uh, a lot of discussion about this pause that the federal government did in terms of interest rates. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, China had some bad news coming out of their amount of exports. Uh, it's down 7.5%. Um, so that's really bad news for them. Um, and is it going to be indicative of what's going on with the rest of the world? Um, hard to say. And, you know, everything is kind of up in the air. Uh, hopefully we can get some direction going one way or the other. Um, I'd like to see the Dow move down, gold move up, oil move up, uh, and natural gas move up. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see what's going on. Silver's down at $23.20. Um, I don't know if you're starting to pick up any kind of physical silver. Probably be a good time now if price is kind of low. Uh, and that's what I'm kind of doing as well. Um, it's really, like I said, it's been pretty quiet. Uh, trading um, volume has uh, picked up quite a bit today. Uh, lots of good movement, lots of good directions. And like I said, uh, the the uh, volume has been picking up. Uh, <clears throat> um, you know, it's not as bad as it was in in late May. But again, the holidays are done. Uh, we had a holiday on Monday, and uh, uh, I would expect business to start ramping up. Uh, the end of the month uh, is earnings reports. 
get ready for that. Uh, natural, let's see. NVIDIA, uh, well, Tesla's up uh, $13. NVIDIA is up $11. Uh, some good movement there. Let's see what else is big that uh, had a good movement. Uh, Microsoft went down 4 bucks. So, uh, you know, the techs are starting to move a little bit. Uh, good profitability. Uh, I made some good money on Tesla today. And uh, really a lot of opportunities out there on those options. So start playing those and maybe that'll make some money for you. Anyway, thought I'd let you know uh, what's going on and uh, talk to you later.